Yes, and I'm Hopper, are we at the park? You Let get like a 15 minute glimpse on average. I don't know. Let's just say a 15 minute glimpse into their life. That's 15 minutes out of 24 hours. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, MRL? Say, so I gotta fight with my brother. How are we, sassy girl? I'm doing good. So, today I've got a test in statistics. I mean, it's all open note, which is easy, but I'm just like, uh, I don't like tests. Ow, you just scratched the back of my leg. And then after, I'm going to be picking up little boy and taking him to the vet he's gonna get weighed and get his last shots and then the plan is either to take him to the park or petco for some training which should be fun we'll see what happens so yeah just wanted to tell you guys good morning i'll check back in with you later Yes, and I'm 20 pounds. Molly was close enough, I guess. But I gotta sniff everything. There's Uncle Tyler. I'm gonna sniff everything. Hopper. And then we'll go to the park. Hey, okay. it's gonna be fun. Hopper, are we at the park? What do you think? Yeah, I gotta sniff everything. Well, guys, we are at the park. His first time here and he's loving it. He's getting all sorts of love from people. Even had children giving him sticks. You guys do much fun. Okay, well we gotta go on our little walk. We'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so that little boy going everywhere. And I know what some of you guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, he should be healing. You know what? We're just gonna have a little playtime. A little walking around, so it's not too bad. But in the meantime, he does get a lot of socializing, so hooray! What do you think, Pepper? I gotta sniff everything. Gotta sniff everything. Gotta sniff everything. Good boy. So, yeah, vet's office went well. He was 29 pounds. I think I said that already. Um, I did get annoyed because I was trying to fill out paperwork, and he was, of course, pulling all over the place. So I'm like, you know, we'll take him to the park. It's his first time at the park and he loves this so much. So I'm just walking around with him. So I thought I'd just check you guys in on what we're up to. Hey guys. Wow, my face looks really white in the bright light. Hi, there I am. There's Emerald. What did you think of the park, buddy? Was that fun? Was that fun? Yes. We did a little bit of um, basic training work, but mainly ran around. Um, he got to meet some kids, which was always fun. One of them offered him sticks, and he learned he really likes sticks now. Um, he went on some playground equipment. That was pretty fun. I even got him to stand on top of a sewer. Um, I love how the lighting gets worse on me, but better on him and the opposite. But whatever. Sorry, you guys are going to have my face very bright. Oh, wait, does this help? No, I think I made it worse. Anyway, so now we are at racetrack. My brother and I are getting drinks because we're thirsty, and then we'll be heading home. And I bet Little Bit's going to have a good nap. I also notice he has some dry skin going. I wonder how that happened. So I'll also figure out what to do about his dry skin. So just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know how the park went, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. I would show you Riddler and Emerald, but they walked away. Little butts. Come here. Well, I love you too, meanies. So, we got home from the park and we all crashed. Just taking a nap, even though Riddler didn't do much of anything. Riddler, I'm looking at your butt. I'd show you his butt, but the hallway's dark. Your little butt face. I love you. 
just so nice and loving to my dogs. Eh. Um, if I could have, I would have loved to have taken Riddler to the park too. But, he is a lot more wound up than his brother. And he needs a body harness. He outgrew his body harness. Oh, look. There's the Riddler. Riddler. Hello. I'm talking about how fat you got. <laughs> Are you offended that I called you fat? I mean, I do have your girth measurement way over there on the board. See, I'm going to zoom in. There it is. So the other night I was measuring their girth, back length, strap length. I saw that on a website. And their height. So E is for Emerel. R is for Riddler. Now you know. So a little bit still got some growing to do. And then there's the rest of the stuff I haven't erased yet. Hi. Uh, so once I finally woke up, I was watching videos, watched Fry Life, watched um, Days at a Time. I'm now getting the Slice of Lime. And it's so weird to me to hear my own voice or see a clip from my vlog on someone else's vlog. Because, okay, as you guys know from a few vlogs ago, I, sh I did a shout out to Kaylee's dog Tizzy. Because I learned that apparently Tizzy will react to the voice I use when I talk to Emerel. Just like that cutesy little Emerel kind of thing. Except Emerel left me, little butthead. So I made a shout out of her because I wanted to see what she would do. Of course she did react like, wait, what? That's my name. Wait, I'm a good girl? What? That was really funny. But the first thing my mind thought of was, you're watching yourself on somebody else's vlog. Though technically it wasn't me, it was MRL. But it's still weird. <laughs> if I hear my name or see part of my vlog on somebody else's vlog, because I know Slice of Lime has mentioned my name too. And I'm like, what? What? I know, it's weird. <gasps> Hello! Is that my sassy girl? Yeah, it is. Hey, I'm wet, because I decided to run in the creek. No, you don't get to get on the couch right now. You're wet. <gasps> You're wet. You want to say hi to your internet friends, though? <laughs> or just snort at them? Where's the baby? I don't really trust the baby not being up here right now. Um, but anyway, and then I had a thought from, like, the Fry Life talking about vlogging, and just other things, my mind went blank for a minute, and I kind of, for some reason, felt like sharing this with you guys, even though you may or may not even care, um, Emerald is stealing Sassy's food. Emeril! Little butt! Um. So I felt bad because yesterday's vlog only had one clip. And I almost thought about not even publishing it, but I am going to publish it. Hello, there you are! Hi! Hi, Emeril! Aw, you're loving on your sister. You want to say hi to your internet friends? Tizzy really liked you. Did you know that? Do you care? No. Um. But. I'm sorry about only doing one clip. Here is the main reason why. Two words. Anxiety fatigue. Which is a thing, obviously. Um. I've had people, when they first meet me or have gotten to know, or getting, or will, are getting to know me, that... You know, I'm a very bubbly personality. I'm extroverted. I'm outgoing. I seem to have energy for days. I've even had a few people think I'm ADHD. I'm not. I just have a lot of energy. Um, what they don't realize is how exhausted I get. <laughs> I get so tired that, like, sometimes it's really hard to get up and do things. As you guys have seen, I'm sitting on a couch a lot of the time whenever I'm vlogging. Because I'm that tired. Um, like, yesterday I was exhausted from work. And then, just I got home, I could barely do anything else. And I feel bad because there are some of my vlogs where they're really short. 
and that's because of how tired I am. So fun fact about me and vlogging, I'm, I have this weird thing where I feel like my vlogs cannot be less than six minutes long. I don't know why. I like it when they're at a minimum of six minutes. If they're higher than that, that's great. But I don't want them to be like 20 minutes long. I don't know why my brain does this. So the fact that I only had one clip yesterday, which I don't remember how long it is now, it's bothering me. But I'm like, I was so freaking tired. The most I did when I got home from work was I did a really, really quick cost test of Yuri Katsuki. And that literally was like maybe three pictures and then I took it off. I didn't even do makeup for him. It's just wig, glasses, snap a picture, done. Um, but fun fact for you non-anxiety sufferers. Anxiety sufferers, you will feel me on this one. Um, we get very fatigued. We could have done absolutely nothing all day long. And still feel fatigued because of this. Because with anxiety, your brain is running five bajillion miles an hour about everything and nothing. I wish I could remember exactly the thoughts I had, but because I remember there were some that were specific, and mainly were not. Um, I have often described like the anxiety brain as like so many things going on at once that it's static, so you don't really know what you're anxious about. And sometimes you get blips of, like, this thought, this thought, this thought. Hey, remember that thought? So you get blips of specific thoughts, but mainly static. And that exhausts your brain because your brain is using up energy, worrying about everything, and having your fight-or-flight response kicked up all the time. So there have been times that I want to vlog something or I have a thought that I'm like, yes, I want to vlog it. But I feel horrible because my camera is usually on the other side of my room and I'm not feeling the energy to get up. Which, to a lot of people, they'd be like, Raven, that's just really freaking lazy. But that is how anxiety fatigue works. I accidentally pressed the button. I'm sorry. But the other thought I had was I was just watching Fry Life and Mary and Peter were talking about vlogging and how you know, you don't, they don't vlog every single solitary aspect of their life because they're humans. And you just get a glimpse into their life. Like, I guess we as viewers don't really think about it. But like, you get like a 15 minute glimpse on average. I don't know. Let's just say a 15 minute glimpse into their life. That's 15 minutes out of 24 hours. Obviously, you're not going to be sitting there watching them sleeping at night because that's really creepy. Um, they won't show you every cough, every step, every like sitting on the couch. Hey, you want a sandwich or something like that? No. They show you the, like what they want to show you. And that's, the, that's with all of us vloggers. We can't show you every single aspect of our lives for various reasons. I've already explained my case is mainly anxiety fatigue. Though sometimes it's that nothing happens. For some people it's fatigue, some people it's illness, some people it's just because they don't freaking wanna. But we just show you glimpses into our lives. And let's face it, probably some of you guys would not want to see our entire lives in a day. Except, I mean, there are days in, day in our life videos, but even then that's not completely the entire day. And obviously, that's not their entire life. Um, so that's just something I was thinking about, too, was that um, I love vlogging. I didn't think I would get as into vlogging as I am now, but I love it. But one of the beautiful things about vlogging is you get to choose exactly what you are talking about. You get to choose what you get to show your audience. Which there are sometimes things I wish I could show you guys and I just don't because I usually will forget or I'm tired. But I love that, you know, I choose to talk to you guys about the anxious parts of my lives. Lives? What? I'm reincarnated. <laughs> the an I about said ancient lives. What the crap, Raven? But I get to show you parts of my anxious life. I get to show you when I'm... It have an anxiety when I'm not and of course showing you my three wonderful dogs as you guys know and I love it I love sharing with you guys 
But I'm also glad I don't have to vlog 24-7. Because that would be so exhausting. For both you and me. So. Yeah, that's just the thoughts I was having. Hey guys. So there's Mr. Riddler. Who's sniffing at me. Hi bud. You probably smell the chapstick on my lips. There's Sassy Girl. And there's my Mr. Emerald. So, I'm sorry I didn't get the vlog up tonight. Um, combination of tired, as I've mentioned earlier today. And then, had something happen tonight that just knocked my mental health down and left me in a depressive episode for a little while. Which luckily was nothing bad, but it still hurt. But, oh well. Um... The one thing I will say about it, and it's something that probably everybody needs to know, is everyone has their own way of doing things. Just let people do it. It's not that hard. So now, it's pretty late, so I need to sign up for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, like, for, if you have a cell phone, what is something that bothers you about your cell phone? For me, I hate it when I can see my battery percentage. I don't know why. It drives me insane. So put your answer down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, sassy girl. Good night, Red Lou. Good night, my Amarelle.